Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I've had a project that was in my garage for a couple months now and I've been meaning to get started on it. So today I'm going to do that. Um, so this is what it is. I found this dollhouse from the thrift store and it was only $24.99. $24.99. So I couldn't resist. I mean, Alethea, oh, your blanket fell off. Alethea is obviously not going to be able to play with this dollhouse for a long time because she's only an eight month old baby. But I kind of bought it for my nieces. I wanted something really fun for them when they came over. So I'm not a fan of the look. I'm not a fan of the bright colors, and I'm not a fan of the tacky designs. I'm not a fan of the fake furniture and the fake carpet and all the fake wall art that is on here. Um, some of this is made out of wood, so it has a pretty good frame. The other portion of it is made out of pressed paper, I think my dad said. So. My plan is to completely redo this. I want to make it really look modern, fresh, clean. I want to make it look like the dollhouses that I see on Pinterest. And there's also this very nice piece of gum that somebody left on there. You know, that's, that's, that's what you get when you shop at the thrift store sometimes. It has three levels, one, two, and three. And it has two sets of stairs, a couple windows. So yeah, I'm excited to get started on this. I have my little bit my little helper out here. It's a it's a kind of breezy fall day, but it's not too cold outside. A little bit of entertainment for her. Right? A little bit of entertainment for you. Ain't that right, love? I love you. I love you. I'm actually proud that I'm pulling out this saw, this sander again because usually I borrow this kind of stuff from my dad, but when I was doing Alethea's nursery, we decided to buy one because we had to sand down like a bunch of furniture to paint it. So look at that, it's coming in handy again, which is pretty cool. So I got some sandpaper here. Let's see if I remember how to attach it. There! Huh! Look at that! Okay. So I'm thinking that the first thing I need to do is sand it all and then give it a fresh coat of paint. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. Growing up, I used to help my dad in the garage like all the time. Working with tools and helping him build stuff. He was very crafty and quite the builder. So I feel like I do get a little bit of my craftiness from him, but I'm just winging it here. Okay, I'm putting this little one to bed. And good news, I don't have to sand the whole entire dollhouse because I called my dad and he said to just make it smooth. So sand it down, make it smooth, prime it. So that's going to definitely cut down work. I've been working for like, what, only 20 minutes and I'm already like, huh, this is taking a long time. Okay, let's go get you to bed. Welcome to day two of working on the dollhouse. I went to the hardware store and I picked up some paints. I picked out white for the outside of the house and I picked out this really pretty orange and this really pretty coral color. It's called Melon Sherbert. What a fun name, right? And I didn't know you could do this, but you can buy little sample size paint jars. So this is perfect for this project. And this is high quality paint and it's only $5. Like I paid like $5 and I could mix it to whatever color I wanted. And it's uh, for like interior or exterior. So I think it will like hold up like with kids playing with it. I find painting very therapeutic. And I haven't had a lot of time since my daughter was born to have like quality time just for me or just alone. 
So I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Just painting away, taking the time to relax, and I'm just getting started. I really hope this turns out. I'm going to have to do a lot of layers because I want this to like really look sharp. I'll probably give it like at least three layers. I'm going to show you guys what the first layer looks like. So here's the first layer of the house on this particular side. I just left the bottom for now because I don't want to paint too close to the hardwood. So I'm going to touch that up later on. Ooh, it's so exciting! It already looks so different. So you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, I think you might be able to. You can kind of notice, you can still kind of see underneath the paint. And that's okay. On the first layer, you don't need everything to be fully covered up. So this is perfect. Wow, what a beautiful evening I have. My, my Andy is over there and he's playing guitar while I paint in our basement. <laughs> How cute. always paint in the same direction. If you paint in like a bunch of different directions, it's not going to dry nice and you're going to see a lot of streaking. Another tip is to not have a lot of paint on your brush. If you have too much paint, it's going to be very streaky and it's going to take a really long time to dry as well. So you're not going to be able to like come back and add a second coat. Um, don't worry about like making your first coat cover up everything. That's why you do like numerous coats. Another thing is like the type of brush you're using. I suggest investing a little bit more money than like a dollar store brush. It's kind of like the same thing as makeup. Like the more bristles that are in your paintbrush, the better your brush is for like blending. Um, when choosing a color, like if you're working with white, um, I suggest choosing like an off-white color because if you choose like a ultra pure white, you're gonna see the like any dirt more easy. So because I'm making this for kids who probably have messy hands, you're not going to notice like the marks from their hands and like their oils. Another suggestion I have is to kind of start from like one side and work your way. Don't start in like multiple areas because then you're going to con get confused like what you've already painted on and you don't want to go over wet paint. You want to like go over it once it's dry. And also if you work your way your blending is going to be better rather than like trying to blend paint that's already started to dry pretty color like ready for it wow all right hello everyone so it's either day three or four of working on the dollhouse I made another trip to the store and I got a bunch of supplies. So I got this wallpaper, which I might use for one of the rooms. If not, um, when I do another dollhouse, I'll use it. It has like sunflowers and birds and uh, rabbits and leaves and stuff. And it's also like very kiddish because it has like the animals on it, but still looks like modern and like nice. 
Then I found this. I thought this would be good for the floor. It's also like a wallpaper, um, but it's like a wood texture and has like a hardwood look to it. You can also paint over this, so you could paint it a brown if you wanted, but I might leave it white. Then I got a bunch of new paints, which um, I'll be using on the other dollhouse. And then I bought some tile adapter and grout um, because I bought these tiles. And I thought these tiles would look really good in the kitchen and bathroom. Um, I like how they're like rounded edges because it's kind of like kid friendly and looks like almost a little cartoony. Um, so I think I can do something really cool with this. Each piece was like $10.99. So um, a little bit expensive, but one of the cheaper options for a tile. Then I got this, which is the adhesive for the wallpapers. So today, here's what we're looking at. Um, so I did have the bathroom painted blue, but I've decided to change that and I painted it white. And this year I'm gonna paint yellow. So it's gonna be orange, coral, and yellow. I think that just is gonna make it look very like bright and happy and sunshiny and sunrisey. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Okay guys, are you ready for the big reveal? Okay, one, two, three, and here she is. So I'm very proud of it. It turned out really, really good. I'm super happy. Um, I love all of the colors I chose and the flooring turned out really good and the tiling turned out pretty good. Things were definitely a learning curve, but yeah, I learned a lot. So um, I'm going to do more because I loved doing this one so much. And I actually thought it might be like a really good business idea because I think it looks like really aesthetic. And so, yeah, so I'm going to start making these. So I actually bought three more dollhouses. This one's already done, but we're going to hold that thought because I'm going to show you guys this one I made first to begin with. Um, so yeah, come take a closer look. So as you can see, um, I put this flooring on here. It's like a white flooring. It's actually a wallpaper, but it's textured. And I think that turned out super nice. On the patio, I did concrete and it's actually tile adhesive, um, but tile adhesive dries very similar to concrete. So um, I like how I put that on the patio because like that's what would like actually be on a patio. Um, the bottom level, I did the tiling and this was like my biggest learning curve because I've never tiled before and I didn't even watch a YouTube video, I just went for it. Um, what I ended up doing is like spreading my tiles out further because I thought the tile would be more expensive than the grout. But, it turns out that like a small pail of grout is like $50, so I used like so much grout when I shouldn't have, so the flooring is very expensive, <laughs> very luxurious flooring. But yeah, overall I think I did a fairly good job for it being my first time, and yeah, I'm super proud of it. Um, I was going to make this for my niece, but now, because I'm going to be making a bunch more, I'm actually going to make another one for her and I'm going to like customize it to her favorite colors and stuff like that. Um, do you do that for customers too? Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do for like customers too. So if anyone's interested in me like renovating a dollhouse for them, I would like love to take like custom orders. You can like pick um, your child's favorite colors or like characters or like favorite movies they have. Any like overall interest, I can like create a dollhouse like personalized for them. So I did create a Facebook page and I named the little business of mine Peace and May because my daughter's middle name is May and then my niece's little name is Peace. So Peace and May. And I'm gonna like post all of the dollhouses on there um, for sale. And I also thought a really good idea would be Every 10 dollhouses sold, I'll make one and then donate it to like a family in need or like a charity. Um, yeah, so wish me luck on like my little journey of creating a small business in the basement of my house. So this one has seven rooms and it's like 
so tall. It's like massive. So yeah, it has like an attic and three floors down here. I put like that wallpaper I showed you guys earlier in my other like clip in the video. I love how it turned out. I decorated the elevator with the same wallpaper and I used three different shades of green and I did the tiling at the bottom again. Um, the garage has the concrete in it. So I think it looks really fun. I really, really like it. And I love the idea of like taking things that people are selling or like donating or throwing in the dump and like reusing it, repurposing it, uh, renovating it and like remodeling it. Like, four R's. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I think it's a pretty cool idea. Let me know what you guys think. And these are both for sale if anyone's interested in buying them. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and like following me on my journey of my renovation. You guys saw the dollhouse before it was renovated, so as you can see, it's quite a difference. Let me know if you, what you guys prefer. Do you prefer the bright colors and all of like the different furniture on there or do you prefer a more like neutral more simple more like boho style dollhouse and this one's like more modern aesthetic yeah like my opinion i like that one but i think this one is like yeah i might like this the one. colors the colors are so, they complement each other a lot, yeah. you know, like the dark green and the black and then the white kind of, you know, it stands out. So. Yeah, it stands out yeah. a lot in the sun. And I did name these, so I named this one the Woodland. And For the little woodland creatures? Yeah, because and the, of this little room here. Yeah. And I named this one uh, Sunrise because, like, the sun is, like, rising. Yeah, yeah. it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Looks good. Um, Okay, we'll see you guys next time.